Canon's new lenses for video. Yeah, they That's dropped it. some. They dropped quite a few new lenses. Yeah, um, I thought we were gonna get like. I mean, I saw the the initial teaser image, which yes. showed the what is it, the fifty that was already out, mm -hmm. and the twenty four to one hundred five. The 24 to 135. Are you talking about new? Oh, the one that was on the image? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the That's 24 to 105. 24 to 105. And then they said that on October 30th that we were going to get three new lenses, two yeah. more primes and another zoom. Mm -hmm. And officially, it's all come out now, we now have a 70 to 200. Man, the name is ridiculous. Hybrid, yeah, yeah. It's a hybrid something Z, which yes. I was like. Yes. Stay away from the letter Z. <laughs> <laughs> Nikon owns the letter Z. You can't use the letter Z anymore. <laughs> Sorry, it's gone. It's not yours. Dude, that uh, uh available in black and white. And it's so weird. When they came out with the with the the last 7200, there's a piece of me that in my heart says, I don't love that it like externally zooms. Like yeah. the but I do love that it packs down. Yes. So I'm like, I'm conflicted. I'm so conflicted. Yeah. I'm not getting it. It's three grand. It's too much money. <laughs> I don't understand that part. They're, like, it's ooh. it's substantially more expensive than the ooh. the normal 70 to 200. And I say substantially because I feel like the normal 70 to 200 is, like, pretty properly priced for 2.8. Mm -hmm. But, like, all you're really getting is a longer lens mm -hmm. that does all the, inter all the zooming internal, which... Fancy features. Fancy feature. Um, it has a iris control that is declicked and cannot be clicked, mm -hmm. so it stays declicked. Yeah. Uh, but you can set it to auto to let the camera control it, which I assume most people will probably do. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's three grand, dude. It's so wild. Like RF glass is so expensive, and I own one RF lens. Yeah. And that RF lens is three thousand dollars. I love it. It's great for everything. But glory, if you are not a working professional, because when I think about three grand, do you know how many cinema lenses I can get? Yeah. For three grand, you can get one, two, three, potentially three lenses. Right? You can get a set of Blazars for that price. Yes. Ugh, that's, that's hard. That's a tough buy. It's hard. Um, speaking of Blazars, Mr. Cam Mackey hopped into the chat. Who thinks that's only you? <laughs> I'm just lying. <laughs> Cam Mackey came into the chat. He says, uh, who think I should replace Jarrell? You know, Cam, we had a great time. We had a great time having you on the show. Yes. Um, d Should he get the treatment? Should he? He should get it. Chat, he should get chat, it. Sh chat, should Is Cam he the Mackey, one who suggested that we should do Super Chat? He is. And he wasn't even here last week to see the Super Chats in full effect. So He was probably shooting some model. Yeah. In the Alps. Yeah. Well, probably in the desert somewhere. <laughs> but Cam Mackey, shout out to you. You were the one who actually realized, because I didn't realize, we didn't even have Super Chats turned on for the show. <laughs> yeah. So we got them turned on. Last week, we introduced a little bit of the element. Yes. But this week, uh, Cam Mackey, this one is especially. You got, your, you got your cowboy hat on, Cam? You're going you to want to get ready to take it you off. You got your cowboy hat on? <laughs> this one's for you, Cam. Hey, this one's for you, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you, Cam Mackey. Thank you, Cam Mackey, for the super chat. Yes. Uh, short answer, no. You're not going to replace Jarrell, but we would love to have you <laughs> on the show. Uh, you're welcome at any time. You're welcome absolutely anytime. welcome at any time. Love so, you, Cam. Uh, but I think that when it comes to that Canon 70-200, to I think it is a phenomenal lens. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a good pairing with the existing you know, hybrid zoom that they are making. Yep. But I still feel like when companies start making like sets mm -hmm. when it comes to like zoom lenses, I think they need to like, I don't know if it's like, I just feel like there's too much overlap. Yeah. You know, between 24 to 105 mm -hmm. and then 70 to 200, mm -hmm. you're not really extending the range that much. Yeah. And I personally feel like I would like to see more of a 
maybe a 24 to 105 mm -hmm. and then a 100 to 400. Because mm. I feel like now you're justifying why it's a larger lens over the additional 7200. Mm -hmm. I still think that the additional 7200 is perfectly fine. Yeah. And so it's like it's a new offering, maybe at 2.8. Mm -hmm. And those two lenses now cover such a wide range that I feel like you'd be in a better place, even maybe 100 to 300. I mean, I know 400 is asking for a lot. So they do have a 100 to 400. But the problem is. It's like it F is not. It's variable. Yeah, it's variable. Five point six yeah. to six point eight or six eight. Uh, it's so it's so hard. Like this is why. I mean, we knew this about Canon. Yeah. This is why the RF lens has been locked down. Yeah. Because they are going to produce some new glass mm -hmm. that's going to be innovative and groundbreaking. And if they had somebody biting at their ankles, like the glass wouldn't move. Yeah. And so I understand it from a business decision and it's their business and they can do what they want. And as customers, we can choose not to buy or buy. Yeah. So like nobody's being forced to do anything at this point. So I understand why they're doing it, but it's like glory. I just want to like fast forward two or three years where Sigma's making full frame mm -hmm. RF. And Tokina is making full frame, you know, RF and, you know, I don't know. I just wish we had more options for autofocus full it, frame. It almost feels like, like, I mean, I, I don't know how it's all working out, like, you know, with the, the courts and all that. But it feels almost like borderline antitrust. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, hey, we have this mount and nobody else can make lenses for it whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we, it, need Tam, we need Tamron to step up. Yes. <laughs> um, all right, what else? Oh, so speaking of lenses, on top of Canon's new lens announcement, Nikon yes. decided to throw their hat into the rain. Uh, but they didn't actually release a lens. They just released an announcement saying, hey, guys, we are making lenses. Yes. Heads up. We can make them, too. <laughs> now, question, Brandon. Yeah. Because this lens is a very interesting lens. Mm-hmm. That I'm a little, I'm a little confused about. Okay. And as the representative of Nikon, <laughs> hype director of Nikon, hype director of Nikon, I like uh, that. The it's a twenty eight to one thirty five, mm -hmm. and it is a power zoom lens. Yes. Uh, what camera is this for? <laughs> like, are we sticking this on a Z eight? Is this going on a? uh komodo like what is this like because it, it kind of feels like a video based lens and they is. don't have video based or video dedicated cameras cameras yeah so i i mean my best guess this is all guess mm -hmm. my best guess is that this lens is designed with the z63 in mind yeah and probably with the future of nikon that we don't know yet um like basically primed up to use this as well mm -hmm. because it was very clear from the time Nikon reached out to me about the Z63 to the time that I spent shooting with the Z63 and even like uh it's funny so funny funny enough mm -hmm. when you work with these companies and you help with release and you send them all these images you don't really know how they're going to use you in the marketing yeah. and so I have seen my face pop up a lot uh in my own like in ads Back to me, <laughs> uh, tr me trying to sell Buy me it, Brandon. Uh, the C63, but they're all very filmmaking. It's like Nikon for filmmakers, right? Mm -hmm. Like that seems to be like what they're really looking for. And so I imagine that the cameras that come out after the Z63 will also be very video focused. Yeah. But with that zoom rocker, um, there are very limited cameras that, I mean, I think the Z63 is the only one that even has like, can even implement that feature mm -hmm. right now that could control Sorry, that could actually control that. Mm -hmm. Unless uh, Nikon does have a an accessory. It's like a grip mm -hmm. that you can like Ari oh, Rosette yeah. into your camera. Mm -hmm. And that actually has a zoom rocker on it as well. So if you wanted to add that zoom rocker into your camera, you'd get the lens, you'd get this grip, attach that grip to your cage, and then you'd be able to control that lens. But it does feel a little left field. Like this lens feels to me like it's like a documentary mm -hmm. style lens. 
but I would not say that Nikon really has like a strong documentary camera right now. Mm -hmm. Although, Brandon, tell me something we don't know. Although, Brandon, tell us <laughs> something we don't know because right now you're saying like theories and blah blah blah. Brandon, I don't know. Is there a <laughs> is there a is there a KX? I don't know coming out. I don't know a KX Z mount. I don't know, but I would imagine. Out. I would imagine. I honestly, I really don't know. Yeah, but I would imagine that like. Nikon would have to be planning to put the Z mount on one of the reds. Like it would be bad business not to. Yeah, it seems like if a if a Komodo two or a KX two were to come out yeah. on an RF lens, that would be like very interesting. I don't so, it, like it wouldn't I'm not saying that they won't, but to not put their mount on it would would feel wild. Yeah, I feel like it would be actually wise for them to keep the rf mount mm -hmm. but to go the route of the pixis mm -hmm. which is like give us a rf mount version give us a z mount version and then you know i mean they do have their own rf to pl adapter like mm -hmm. red has their own rf to pl adapter with uh electronic nds in it mm -hmm. and so maybe adding something like that into it i don't know yeah but that's it to me it would feel like a better decision to keep the RF mount mm -hmm. just because you do have a lot of re existing red shooters who have invested in whether that's EF lenses or RF lenses for their red system it would be an easier upgrade for them to make that jump yes. to to a RF, to an existing RF mount or you would need to have a Z to RF adapter Mm -hmm. to help make existing uh, Komodo shooters make that jump. Because I would say it would be very hard for me right now mm -hmm. as a Komodo X owner, a Raptor X owner, mm -hmm. if they came out with a Komodo X2 and it was only Z-mount and none of my RF lenses could work on it in any way, that's a real hard upgrade. Like I'm not, I'm probably not they, making that upgrade. Seriously, uh we're just putting this out into the universe. Yeah. <laughs> and we just got to we just got to get it off our chest. Yeah. That uh uh what prevents people from switching camera systems is if they can't bring their glass with them. Right. And so if my glass ain't going to work, that's a tough. We're we're It's almost a non-starter. It better it better be insane i will say i better be insane. i'm afraid that that might be the case so, <laughs> so that's have, why we're just saying it yeah so i'm hoping already, that it happens look i'm all look if y'all are in the market for rf lenses <laughs> hit me up because right now i'm letting myself go for the low low because i'm switching all my cinema lenses over to pl just to be safe yeah so hey hit me up i got you 100 percent. oh my goodness so not only that I've got I've got some news for you, Brandon. You got news for me? I got some news. Ari just released some budget prime lenses. More lenses? Yes, more lenses. More okay. This you is haven't heard of these show. lenses yet? So full transparency. Jarrell did say something about Ari budget lenses before the show. And I was like, how did I miss that? How did I miss Ari budget lens? So then I didn't I didn't want to do any research because I wanted to I wanted to experience it with you guys. If there's if you guys have not heard of these new lenses, you and I are gonna learn about these new lenses together. So, Just keep saying Ari budget lenses. Well, Cook has okay. budget lenses, so I would imagine they're like budget lenses. So check this out: uh, the Ari Signature Primes. Yes, a six lens set. This isn't the budget ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Signature Primes. A hundred and forty six thousand dollars. Yeah, never going to even touch those lenses. Uh, I can imagine <laughs> those are like the 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 choicest of rental houses, Hollywood films. Yes. Like, you're, yeah, you're not your own single owner operators not doing that, right? But they decided to release an incredible set of lenses uh, for fifty thousand dollars less. <laughs> 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 you can buy the Ari Inso Primes, a six lens set for eighty six thousand dollars, eighty seven thousand pre tax. <sighs> pre tax, it's a, uh, it's like a fifty, fifty, sixty, <laughs> bro. That's so expensive. Fifty thousand dollar. That's fifty five thousand like... <sighs> dollar 
decrease. Okay, yeah, I'm. I oh man. Are you? No. Are you buying? No, or are you talking? I ain't even talking, bro. <laughs> I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not buying. That's so expensive. So this has got to be honest, because like, and if we have any Hollywood people, got any directors, we got any like people DBs, we make a movies, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the thing that just hurts my soul because everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people will recognize Ari, their cameras and their lenses yeah. as the top. It's yes. Like, incredible. Yeah. But I just got to this question. Am I going to be able to see a $90,000 image? <laughs> like if you put a nifty 50 Canon EF 50 1.8 on an Ari. 35. There's got to be another reason, right? Are you going to see? No, well, yeah, yeah, for I sure. I mean, there's got to be other. The, the workflow and. Yeah, I like that's what I'm saying. Like, there's got to be other benefits because. No, I it's don't. It's got built in Wi Fi? The lenses? <laughs> What kind of benefits? I don't. I don't know. Are for fifteen thousand dollars a lens? I, I I I legitimately don't know. Mm. Um, it it doesn't even shoot that low, bro. It's a T two point one. Yeah, I need like a T point three. I need something with autofocus. Ridic- yeah, seriously, <laughs> with autofocus. Like that's what I want. Look, for that price, I want to be able to press a button on the back and like an element in the back of the lens changes and it becomes an anamorphic lens. And then you flip a switch and then it goes back to spherical. And then there's an auto focus on off switch and it shoots at uh, 0.83. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this clip. If you enjoyed it, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. It's how you tell the algorithm that you enjoyed this content. And that way they can share it to other creators just like yourself. And if you didn't like this video, that's okay too. Hit the thumbs down button, but hit it twice just so you show it that you really didn't like it.